edge uh, in the political uh, landscape of Zimbabwe. Uh, he is known for his brutality, especially in Yamayan Lovu. Uh, he is known for abusing and tormenting local communities, especially in Yamayan Lovu. And also, he was the leading figure, especially in um, the, on the tormenting of uh, Chief Nshantayamangwe Ndiweni, as well as uh, his expulsion by the ZANU PF coup regime. Uh, Opet Mbofu has been irresponsible, especially for all the atrocities and the disappearance of people uh, around Nyamayan uh, He is known uh, that he is one of the politicians, just like uh, Professor Jonathan Moyo, who can do anything to fill his stomach. Uh, he is a politician uh, who is not trustworthy. Uh, he is now siding with Emerson Mnangagwa because Emerson Mnangagwa can feed him at the moment. Uh, during the rule or reign of Emerson, uh, of Robert Mkabe, he was actually reported to be one of the ministers who was bowing before Robert Mkabe. Uh, and uh, as soon as he noticed that coup, coup was in place, uh, he's one of the um, uh, uh, people who quickly shifted the goalpost and uh, supported Emerson Mnangagwa, not only supported him, uh, but also worshipped him. Uh, he's one of the individuals or politicians who can worship only to get money through politics. They, they see politics not as an avenue of saving people, but he sees politics as an avenue of actually making money. It's a money-making scheme for him. Uh, welcome on our channel, the Tlonipani Mube Music TV. And before we proceed, please kindly subscribe on our channel. And today we are actually exposing the character of ZANU PF. You can only derive the character of ZANU PF through the campaign message that has been actually uh, said by the leaders of uh, this ZANU PF, uh, which of course uh, is occupying power uh, through the coup uh, avenue. Uh, it is known, uh, yes, yes, they are not happy about that, but we know that uh, they are where they are because of coup. So people like Opet uh, Mbofu uh, is an individual who cannot be trusted, is a fellow uh, who cannot be relied on. Uh, he can easily shift goalposts, he can easily change as long as there is money, as long as there is food. If you are able to provide him food, he can easily support you. If you are able uh, to to actually uh, safeguard his stomach, that's why you see there's a lot of big stomach and a big empty head. Uh, that is, in short, the definition of who uh, Opet Mpofu is, and today we want to, to actually expose uh, what he said. Remember, what he is saying is also a part of the character of ZANU PF. If you want to derive the character of ZANU PF, we derive it from the speeches echoed by the leaders uh, of ZANU PF. Uh, he said in the, one of the rallies of the ZANU PF that uh, all people who are belonging to opposition political parties are sellouts. And that is a, a dangerous and a irresponsible statement, especially coming from the so-called politician who is a part of the so-called ruling party. Obviously, we know that uh, that ruling party obtained that political status through a coup. Uh, it wasn't a legitimate process. They did not actually contest the elections to be where they are, uh, but they used the power of the gun. Uh, so it is the gun that actually put Obed in both ways. Is. So he says he regard each and every leader of the opposition as a sellout. People were sellouts during the liberation struggle, and they also advanced uh, the aspect of a one-party state. Anyway, uh, ZANU-PF has been a one-party state from the beginning. Uh, 
they, that is why uh, they swallowed Zapu, and the Zapu, in fact, allowed itself to be swallowed by uh, ZANU PF. Uh, and they are still echoing these sentiments. If you listen to all the leaders of ZANU PF, uh, they are actually advancing the idea of a one party uh, state. They don't believe uh, in a multi party. Uh, kind of politics. So these are detectors. Uh, they only believe that it's only them who, is, who are supposed to lead. And we know how detectors are removed. De detectors are removed through a military action. You cannot uh, remove a detector through the ballot. Uh, you will be lying. A detector can only be removed uh, through uh, actually a gun like uh, it can only be, be removed through a coup so uh, ZANU PF is led by detectors and uh, you could hear from the speeches from his speech he actually glorifies everything about Emerson Mnanga because Emerson Mnanga is able to put uh, crumbs on his table crumbs of bread on his table is able to provide for him so this guy will do anything he can even uh, uh, lick you because uh, he's getting uh, i mean he, he, he's getting money so to the, it's, it's those guys who, who who can i mean do anything uh, because of money these are slay politicians uh, they are slay uh, kings of politicians. They are acting like slay queens uh, who can do anything uh, for money, for a man who can provide him with money and bread. So that is who uh, actually uh, Obed Mpofu is. And uh, they, they always, the ZANU PF has always been saying uh, politicians should not incite violence. But his statements actually incite violence. When you say, when you tell your supporters that other individuals who are contesting with you equally, who are supposed to be equally contesting with you, when you label them as sellouts, that word is a strong word. Uh, it is a very, 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 very strong word. Whom did they sell? Selling them, uh, selling uh, ZANU PF to who? Uh, ZANU PF should take accountability. It's a high time ZANU PF becomes the responsible, responsible. And we are exposing uh, the who they are. They have nothing to, to tell the electorate. When it comes to the economy, their president is busy accusing Indians. The president is busy accusing the Western countries uh, for meddling on the internal affairs of Zimbabwe. But he is the same president after actually successfully uh, usurping power through coup, through a gun, uh, who ran all over the world with a baking power. And uh, when they tell him about human rights uh, crisis in his country, uh, he now says you are meddling in the internal affairs of Zimbabwe. Uh, that is stupidity, and the ZANU PF uh, should, should actually be, be told this point blank. There is no stupidity surpassing that. So you, you have heard uh, Opet Mbofu, he is saying, uh, I mean, all members of the opposition political parties, they are actually uh, sellouts. And the sellout is him. Obed Mbofu has been selling out the people of Matepeleland for a long time. There is no sellout surpassing Obed Mbofu. There is no sellout actually in Matepeleland bigger than Obed Mbofu. These are the people uh, who have done a lot of tormenting, especially to the citizens of Mtuagazi and the people of Matebele land. There are a lot of our brothers and sisters who died because of these guys. There are a lot of our brothers and sisters uh, without parents and relatives because of the people like Opet Mbov, who is a sellout, selling out to who? Uh, it can only be him. You see, it's easy for a sellout to point uh, other people and label them as sellouts rather than point 
pointing at himself. And anyway, an individual who actually listens to, to, to Opet Mbofu and try to make sense out of Opet Mbofu, that individual would be actually lacking something. Uh, so Opet Mbofu is Opet Mbofu. Uh, uh, he, he's known uh, for who he is. He's just uh, one hell of a, a sellout, uh, one of the politicians who are not after uh, saving people, but who are after saving yeah. their self-interest. Thank you very much for uh, joining yeah. us. If you have watched up to this far, please kindly subscribe yeah. on our channel. Uh, thank you. God bless you.